What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another What's Old video. If you're a reseller, these videos are a great way for you to learn something new that you can be on the lookout for. If you're not a reseller, welcome to the weird world of stuff that you can find at a thrift store or a garage sale that people pay crazy money for on the internet. Check it out. So I actually got two of these vintage GM Goodrich service Dale Earnhardt hats from a garage sale and they are new with tags as you can see which is pretty cool seeing that they're from the 90s. Paid five dollars a piece for them and I listed them separately so that they wouldn't compete against each other. Sold the first one for I believe 55 and then sold this one for 60 so pretty cool. So the prices on Kavu bags seem to have gone down a lot recently. I don't know whether they're not as popular as much or the market's just oversaturated. But some of the special edition and discontinued ones can actually sell for really good money. I paid $5 for this one from a garage sale and it sold for $72.50 on eBay. It's like a celestial galaxy pattern. Not real sure, but decent money there. This is a Playmobil or Playmobile. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Like a playset. It's a girl and a boy doing some bicycling. It's kind of like Legos. You snap the pieces together. I paid 50 cent for it and it sold for $42.50. They're from actually 1983. Cool thing is whoever bought them actually paid $1.97. I paid 50 cent. And then the eBay buyer paid $42.50. So kind of cool. Cobra Golf, definitely a brand to be on the lookout for, especially the newer stuff. I've got about nine or ten dollars into this amp driver. Bought a big bundle of clubs from a garage sale, and this driver sold for 75 in a couple of weeks. So not sure if you can even see this little tiny guy, but he's a Colonial Viper pilot from Battlestar Galactica from 1978. Launch when ready. And I really didn't know any of that until I decided to Google lens him and it identified him pretty quickly. Listed him on eBay and he sold for $39.99. I actually found him at the bottom of a box of vintage Legos and this actually paid for the whole box. It was definitely pretty cool. This is a pretty awesome t-shirt sale here. Picked this one up from Goodwill, paid $1.50 for it. It's 1992 New Orleans Jazz and Heritage Festival t-shirt. Uh, there were several listed on eBay for like 20, 30 bucks. None this early from 1992. So I decided to list it pretty high. And if you never ask that much, you'll never get it. So I asked that much and I got $42.50, which is pretty good for a $1.50 t-shirt. If you're not taking advantage of eBay's global shipping program, I definitely recommend it. I sold this very heavy, very thick wool LL Bean shirt in July and I paid $4 for it and it sold for $59.99. It's actually going to Japan and the buyers all in over $80. So I've had these Domino Pizza employee shoes forever. And they're definitely vintage. They're women's size seven, so I knew they would take a while to sell. And when I bought them from Salvation Army a long time ago, I actually found a sold comp where somebody had paid like $250 for them. So I listed mine for that. Unfortunately, I've never got any offers anywhere close to that. And finally, after a couple of years, I got an offer of 85 bucks. So I decided to take it. Not bad for a pair of old crusty Domino's pizza shoes. I think I've got three or four dollars in them. So I'm pretty excited about this sale. This is a pair of Chippewa boots. They're like motorcycle boots with a steel toe. They're a smaller size, size seven, so I figured they'd take a while to sell. But it's only been about a month. I paid twenty dollars for them. They're in really good condition, almost new. Paid twenty bucks for them, and they sold for two hundred and twenty-five dollars. So definitely be on the lookout for Chippewa. So 
So I'm still selling Disney Infinity characters. Got them in a big lot of Skylanders and Infinity stuff that I paid $25 for from a garage sale. These are the characters from Zootopia, Nick and Judy, along with some little power-up discs. And they sold for 35 bucks. So I think I mentioned to you guys last week about L.L. Bean boat and tote bags. They always sell, even in like not good condition, even with somebody's name on them, even with a business logo on them, they still sell. I believe we've got $3 into this one from a garage sale. As you can see, it's got Gloria's name on it. It's actually going to Peter, not Gloria, and it still sold for 30 bucks. I actually haven't been to the Goodwill bins in some time. I don't really like going, but last time I was there, I picked up this bag. Hadn't heard of this brand, Puro Cuero. Not real sure how to pronounce it, but it was really good quality. Nice little shoulder bag, really good condition. And I knew it would only be a couple of bucks. So I think I've got about $2 into it and it sold for $39. So probably shouldn't have paid so much for this game at a garage sale. Paid $5 for it, but that kind of shows my limited knowledge of video games. Don't know a whole lot about them. I figured it being a newer system, the Wii U, it might go for more but it only sold for $14.95. Another buck 50 Goodwill t-shirt going out. This is a vintage 90s Daytona like sailing ship t-shirt. Not real sure, I paid $1.50 for it from Goodwill and it sold for $18.95. Shout out to Kayla, my wife, for finding these next two t-shirts. If you saw my last video, you already know, picked up this vintage mossy oak t-shirt from Goodwill, paid $1.50 for it and it sold in a couple of days for $25. You ever see that old tree mossy oak logo definitely pick it up there's collectors out there for these things believe it or not and they sell really quick next one is a basset hound i'll throw the name of the artist and stuff up here who drew this or painted this or pictured this not real sure but i paid a dollar for it at a little thrift store and it sold for 25 in a couple of days too so shout out kayla for two quick t-shirt sales pretty cool t-shirt going out this is a vintage made in the usa clemson t-shirt and it's actually got like this double collar, double sleeve thing going on. But I paid $1.50 for it from Goodwill and it sold for $22. Pretty cool shirt. I don't find very many band shirts, but this is a system of a down shirt. Paid $1.50 for it from Goodwill. Got a cool graphic on it with a tank. It says mine is bigger than yours. Do with that whatever you will. But I paid $1.50 for it and it sold for $31 on eBay. Minor League Baseball Team hats. These things always sell. They may not always sell for big money, but they do sell. This was a stadium giveaway. You can typically tell because they're honestly cheaper hats and they've usually got some company's name on the back. But I paid $1 for it and it's the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Paid a dollar for it and it sold for 15. Pretty cool hat, vintage Rusty Wallace NASCAR hat. And it's actually not NASCAR licensed. So I guess that kind of makes it bootleg but I paid $2 for it out of a bulk buy and it sold for 25. And it's actually kind of cool because it's from, it has to be from the late eighties, early nineties. That's when he drove for Miller Genuine Draft and it's still new with tags. Still got the tag on it. Picked up these Ariat, 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 I'm not real sure how to pronounce it, but I know the logo and I know the word when I see it. Picked these boots up from a garage sale and Ariat's definitely a brand that you should know. If they were adult boots, they would go for a lot more money. But I picked up these size three kid boots from a garage sale, paid $3 for them, and they sold for 30. So I sold a sand wedge. This is a Cleveland VAS Plus sand wedge. And these VAS irons actually have a really distinct look and they're really kind of a funky golf club. As a matter of fact, when they first came out, this is just a little useless golf trivia. When they first came out, Cleveland promoted them and none of the players would use them. The professionals just kind of shied away from them, wouldn't use them. Corey Pavin didn't, and in 1995, he used them to win the U.S. Open. It's also how old these clubs are. They've been around for quite some time, but they always sell really well. So if you see them, pick them up. Paid a dollar for this one, and it sold for $29.50. You guys already know, when it comes to golf, ping equals cha-ching. Got two ping clubs going out. This is a ping eye wedge. It's a 52-degree utility wedge. Paid $3 for it from Goodwill, and it sold for $49.50. This is a 20-degree ping I-20 fairway wood or hybrid, whatever you want to call it. Got about $10 into it, I believe, from a garage sale bulk buy, and it sold for $62.50. I paid $3 for this 58-degree MB Black Dot Wedge from Ping. Got it from Goodwill, really good condition, and it sold within a week for $49.50. So I've kind of been surprised lately at older Ben Hogan golf clubs. They've been selling really well and pretty quick. This is a Ben Hogan Big Ben 3-wood. Picked it up for $4 at a thrift store. And typically they sell for like $40, $45. This one was not in great condition. So I took an offer of $39. Still a pretty good profit. Odyssey Versa Putter. And I've already told you before, Odyssey is a great brand to be on the lookout for when it comes to putters. They sell really quick. Unfortunately, I've actually had this one for like three weeks. And I was kind of curious as to why it hadn't sold yet. Decided to do some research, looked it up on eBay, and the listing had completely disappeared. Took it home, re-photographed it, re-listed it, 
and it sold within two days for $74.50. I've got about $8 into it from a garage sale. Adding a new category this week, I'm calling it the worst because I kind of had a little bit of heartbreak. You guys remember that Olympus Epic camera that I sold last week for almost $300 that I paid a dollar for at a thrift store? Well, the buyer requested a return and it's on the way back to me. The buyer said that the lens was not fully retracting after they took a photograph. It seemed to work okay for me, but I mean, I have no choice. I have to believe them. The camera's on the way back. I'll retest it when I get it back here. If it doesn't work, I can sell it for parts. There's definitely still some value there, but this one definitely hurts. 